My name is Bones, and this is the Kid and Bones Show. Hanging out with my cat, and all we do is smoke balls. Legal in my city, cause I live in Colorado. You looking at me funny, then I say, what you looking at, Vato? I'm not a Mexican gangster, but Grim Reaper's my father, yo. So if I think it's your time, well then I guess it's time to go. I'm really a peaceful dude, and I don't want to do what my father do. But he says, one day, son, you're gonna have to. Ken and Bones. Ken and Bones. Ken and Bones. Cool cat Ken and your boy Bones. What's up, viewers? It's your boy, Bones. We're here chilling with some legendary tokers today. Shaggy Rogers and Scooby-Doo from the Scooby-Doo TV everybody. series. We have a question from a viewer. Midnight Toker 420 says, Tupac or Snoop Dogg? Snoop Dogg with my rigger. I personally like Snoop Dogg better because of his involvement with, like, the sonar community. <laughs> all right, all right, I can dig it. One more question. Yo mama's fat joint ass, how did you guys get started into the show, and how did pot play an important role? Well, Bones, like, the guys at hanna Barber were tripping balls at Woodstock, and they ran into us during Jimmy's set, ha! Huh? Man, Jimmy's rap was so good. Like, I remember when you mixed the shrooms into the Scooby Snacks, and Fred ate some, and then tried to bite that guy's ear off, ha! Huh? <laughs> that was the best rock from Ruby Rock ever! All right, guys, so it just turned 420 on the clock, so it's time to smoke the Janja. You guys have any favorite new flavors? Woo Dream. Actually, that's what we brought with us. It's like some new Blue Dream I bought from Chong. Oh, nice. We're going to take a break, and we'll be right back with some more Your Boy Bones with the Shagster and Ruby Ruby Woo. This is Ken and Bones with Bones, the son of the Grim Reaper. He knows what his future holds, but he only wants a life filled with reefer. Hey, I smoke balls. Will he follow in his father's path, or smoke a joint in ash? Let's find out. So, what'd you think? Fucking nice, huh? I know, you're speechless. I know a pretty mean Scooby, right? So, it was, uh, it was a cartoon, and it was, I mean, it was, uh, uh, the, the plot, it was, like, it was pretty, um, you know, let's see, uh, what, or Scooby, and, I'm sorry, I gotta stop it right there, that, that shit was whack, I wouldn't suggest showing this to anyone, did you make a part two yet? No, not yet, but I- Okay, don't do a part two, and maybe delete part one, you should really stick to smoking pot. At least you're good at it. But I feel like at one point you were smiling a little. Oh, I had a quiet fart, and it stunk, and I guess you didn't smell it. No, no, I did. I just didn't ask. Didn't want to ruin your viewing pleasure. Well, shit, if you were trying to pleasure somebody, then I guess you should, uh, you know, put some tits in the motherfucker or something. Is that yours? Yeah. See, the problem with your... The problem with your cartoon is that it, it just looks fucking shitty. Not in a bad way, though. Maybe if you're serious, go to college and get better and whatnot. You never believe in me, Ken. I'm a fucking cat. But take it from a cat. Your cartoon stinks. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm still working on stuff, but it'll be better when I'm done. Yeah, I bet. Oh, shit. Dude, so sorry. It's cool. I can tell you didn't pay a lot for it anyway, but I gotta go. Good luck with your shitty cartoon and that Reggie. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Ken. Fucking dick. Jace. Hey, you missed it. Over there by the slide. Thank you. I bet most of you watching have a nice little puppy dog. Have you ever lost a dog or it ran away, never to be seen again? 
Did you know 8 out of 10 missing dogs are eaten by an alien life form? So you little spot, patches, rover, or whatever retarded name you force them with is being sprinkled with salt and pepper sitting next to some mashed potatoes and corn. Help us stop all the dog eating by calling this number and donating 69 cents. Every 69 cents helps us turn around and climb up on top of this situation. Call 1-800-ALIENS-WHO-EAT-DOGS-SUCK. That's 1-800-ALIENS-WHO-EAT-DOGS-SUCK. If you're interested in this commercial or in our organization, then help us stop all the dog eating madness by donating 69 cents that we're eventually going to buy weed with and help us close down all Chinese, Korean, or any other Asian food service because they kill and use dog butthole in their food. Also, we think aliens are cool and this message is not really about aliens. We just don't like Chinese food. Data charges may apply. Hey, there's a fight, fight over there. Fight, no fight, way, dude. Fight, the fight, shirt's fight, off now, fight, homie. Fight, I'm going to beat fight, your bitch, fight, bro. Fight, Let's fight, do fight, this. Fight. <laughs> Did you notice anything similar about these three men? No? Well, don't worry, most people don't. See, what's the same about them is that they all suffer from itchy balls and are in too public of an area to scratch. Well, if you've ever had this problem, and boy, I sure have, then maybe we have the solution for you. Try our new itch -a ball The itch -a ball is a small mechanical robot that hooks onto the inside of your pants zipper and gets that itch and does it with these so you don't end up with a scratch or a hurting nut sack. Just ask some of the phone calls we have received just in the past month from the real Itch the Ball users. Uh, hey, this thing is awesome. I just bend it a little and it's jacking me off right now. Genius! What's up, Itch the Ball? I suffer from an allergic skin reaction to condoms, so I couldn't use them. And after just having my seventh child, I realized enough was enough. And my wife told me about this awesome product. So, we used the latex condom. I got a really bad rash, a swollen penis that makes it almost impossible to urinate. But that itch is taken care of. Thanks, Itch the Ball. So if you want Itch the Ball, then call our toll-free number now. 1-800-222-ITCH-YOUR-BALLS. 1-800-222-ITCH-YOUR-BALLS. <laughs>